Welcome back to A Boy's Superhero Dream Comes True by Eric B., author of the Night Crusader series. At one point, Max, who was riding shotgun, could not help noticing a very large generator that resided alongside the expressway. The machine stood approximately 20 feet tall and was 200 feet long by 320 feet wide. This was actually an experimental generator, and the hope was for this to provide an alternative power source to the city. The city fueled the generator with the usual Earth-based natural resources, but they also mixed in some chemicals that had been purchased from the aliens in the province of Dragon. The experiment didn't quite go as planned, and the fuel mixture became unstable. The generator rattled and made many types of strange, suspiciously loud noises. Even as traffic continued to stall on the expressway, the potential for this generator to explode at any second seemed imminent. Hundreds of people practically frozen in their places in in the expressway were panic-stricken and in fear for their lives. Then, suddenly from the sky landed, right in front of Max's mom's car, a man clad in black with a prominent N and C in bright neon letters on the front of his t-shirt. Max and his mom raised their eyes some more to see he had a handsome face and red hair. This was none other than Night Crusader Michael. Michael casually walked away from the cars where many on the expressway could see him. Then he shouted to all who could hear him, Stay calm, folks. This problem will be handled immediately. But just then, many blasts were heard. And, and smoke began to emerge from the generator. At once, Michael super sped over to the generator. He took a hold of the generator, which seconds later he lifted from the ground. This was in the presence of the jaw-dropped faces of Max, his mom, and a few hundred, hundred other witnesses. Michael hoisted the machine over his head. Then with the might of a super warrior, Michael chucked the generator thousands of miles into the sky where the machine exploded in a marvelous display of visual visual firepower. Michael jumped into the sky and flew in super fast circles with the purpose of ensuring no fire, fiery hot debris landed on any people or flammable things on the ground. At this point, Max had exited the car even while his mother protested him doing so. When Michael was reasonably certain that no one under the sight of the explosion was in any further danger, he made his cautiously optimistic descent back to the expressway. Michael landed not far from where he was before, which was fairly close to where Max and his mom were within the heavy traffic. Without hesitation, as soon as Michael landed on the ground, Max sprinted up to Michael and threw his arms around Michael's leg. Whoa, Michael said, who was caught off guard. Where did you come from, young man? That was amazing what you did, Max said while he slowly released his hold of Michael. Now looking Michael up and down, Max said, wow, you really are a superhero, aren't you? Michael smiled and said, well, I definitely try to be. You must be one of those night crusaders, Max said with conviction. With the look of amazement on his face, Michael replied, yes, I am. You've heard of us? And heard of you, Max said as he said as though to convey obviousness. Are you kidding? Of course I have. You guys fought to end the alien invasion. Michael grabbed Max and lifted him to where Max could place his arm around Michael's neck. Where are your parents, son? My mom is in that car right over there. Michael advanced casually toward the vehicle in the direction Max was pointing, carrying Max in his arms all the way. The car was not hard to spot because Max's mother was standing outside of the driver's side, door wide open. 
Pardon me, miss, Michael said, but I believe you know this young man? Uh, trying to contain her astonishment at being within touching distance of an actual superhero, she said, uh, yes, of course. This is, this is my son, Max. Hmm. Michael could sense her nervousness as she slowly lowered Max to the ground, as he slowly lowered Max to the ground, uh, but did not say anything about such as she continued, my, my name is Teresa. Uh, Michael held out his hand and she shook it as he said, my name is Michael and I am a night crusader. Uh, Teresa said, nice to meet you, Michael. I really can't thank you enough for chatting with my son. You, you really are his hero. All of you guys are. Michael said, I, I, we appreciate that, Teresa. And then Teresa said, I, I just hope Max wasn't bothering you too much. What with you busy trying to, you know, save the day and all that. Oh, no bother at all, Michael said. You see, Teresa, there's a whole lot more to being a superhero than saving people from being killed in, in, expo in, in an explosion. We are here to inspire hope, especially in youngsters like your son. Even while talking, Michael noticed in his peripheral vision other citizens exiting their vehicles to observe him. In fact, Michael continued, do me a favor and get back in your car. I'll see the two of you in 20 minutes. And we'll be back soon for another reading of A Boy's Superhero Dream Comes True by Eric B., author of the Night Crusader series. <laughs>